Hi guys, I'm John Carlo from Targis International and today I'm going to do a video review, this time for X-Star. It's a WK007. This is a Zoomy flashlight and the first ever that I'm going to review, so come check this out. So this light comes in this uh, white and blue retail packaging from X-Star. So you can see some information can be read in front. You have four lighting modes. There's a max beam throw of 175 meters, max luminance of 500 lumens, waterproof at IPX5, and impact resistance at 1.5 meters. You can use a AA NIMH, an alkaline, or a 14500, which is best. Okay, at the back, you can see some manufacturer specs. You can see that um, it has also a moonlight mode, some flashing, and strong flashing. The strong flashing is uh, what we call strobe. And I've noticed on the packaging, there's a V3 at the bottom. I'm not sure if it means uh, version 3. Um, if so, then uh, this must be the latest version. So let's go ahead and uh, open the packaging. Okay, those are the accessories, the light itself. Let me put this aside. Okay, let's check the accessories. I can see an O-ring inside, a lanyard, and we have one spare O-ring. Of course, the lanyard for this light. Okay, let me set this up side okay now this is the light there you go x star power in your hands on the other side the model which is wk007 this my friends is a zoomy flashlight the first ever that i'm going to review okay so let's start from the bezel can be removed uh, it has a slightly aggressive strike bezel with the scalloped knurling as you can see there it has an aspheric lens and an o-ring in place I won't be removing that okay so as you can see there from the head, it has some cooling ribs and the head is attached to the barrel which has some small diamond pattern knurling and of course the detachable clip which is quite sturdy. Okay, let me open it up. The tail has matching uh, scallop knurlings you can see there to match the scallop knurling at the head however it's not anodized that's why um, this light can't do a mechanical lockout you can see some gold plated springs for the tail it's not double and I'm not sure if you can see that that's a contact point we have some uh, some lube on the thread but not that much okay so how about we put on a battery I'm using a 14500 by battery by the way and let's close it up okay there is an audible sound when you click the rubber boot it's quite sturdy has a dotted pattern for a good grip and uh, it's sturdy okay so let's proceed to the operation of this light okay to turn it on of course you, you can uh, click it you can also half click the light by the way you can half click it to change through the cycle through the modes I mean Okay, full click. This one's on high right now. 
500 lumens as rated by the company okay so this is completely um, the head is completely zoomed out and when I zoom it in this is the pattern that you will see a bit yellowish on the corona because of the aspheric lens as you can see there some yellow okay now let's uh, switch to the next mode I'm sorry there you go <laughs> see okay and uh, just to cycle through the modes you can uh, half click half press it and uh, next let us try the flashing uh, the flashing this is not SOS it's, they just call it flashing so you have to quickly half press it two times okay oh sorry I cl have clicked it three times this is two times there you go this is the flashing mode and uh, turn it off now the strong flashing they call it this is the strobe for me you quickly press it three times half click one two three oh sorry again <laughs> three again okay hang on Okay, so I finally had it working. This is the strong flashing. You have to quickly press it three times, half click. So it's quite difficult actually to turn it to that mode. Turn it off now. As you can see the LED there. Okay. It fits well in hand as well. And how about now let's go outside and do some night shots, beam shots, as I am excited because this is the first ever zoomy light that I am going to review. Alright, let's go out. So we're here outside to do some beam shots of this X-Star WK007. And right now, I'm starting off the light in moonlight mode. This is uh, where it's completely zoomed out. This is on moonlight, which is rated at two lumens, and I'm slowly zooming it out. This is how it looks like now, zoomed out. And zooming in again, you can barely see the light. Now let's ramp up to the next mode. And it starts off, <coughs> excuse me, in high then goes to medium low and then moonlight so this is high right now as you can see the tree in front of me this is about um, 150 feet from where I'm standing and this is actually the first time I've held a zoomy so that farther tree out there is about uh, 200 feet and now let me show you while I zoom it out there you go this is the zoomed out fully zoomed out and then slowly zooming it in you can one hand operate it because it's such a small light the camera however keeps on auto focusing sorry about that this tree to my left is also 150 feet away and when I zoom it out this is how it looks like you can see the outer uh, ring of the light is a bit yellowish as this is using a spheric lens okay now let's go to the next mode lower mode this is medium now zoomed out and then zoomed in you can clearly see still see the tree in front of me with the concentrated beam pattern which is a bit square and that tree over there is 200 feet and this one's 150 okay and zooming out again there you go 
can clearly see what's in front of you zoomed out if you want it more zoomed in there you go and then tighter I prefer this much zoom <laughs> all right now let's go to the next mode this is low mode <clears throat> excuse me sorry about that can still this is completely zoomed out you can still see the plants in front that bush right here that's about 10 feet from where I'm standing okay this is now completely zoomed out with the focus beam you can see the yellowish um, borders of the light and then this tree still there 150 feet away you can still see it but not that bright of course this is on low mode it's rated at um if i'm not mistaken this is about 50 lumens oh i'm sorry it's 20 lumens medium is at 200 lumens and then high is 500 lumens rated okay now let's go back to moonlight this is moonlight again okay so let me show you the strobe function you have to quickly press it three times one two three oh sorry i pushed it two times so this is the flash function uh, you can do it zoomed out or zoomed in so that's the flash function now let me try and do the strobe one two three okay hang on one two three it's quite difficult okay let me try that again one, two, three. Oh. okay i'm having a bit trouble <laughs> turning it to hang on let me put it in high and then let me try this one more time oops sorry you, you just need to half click it Oh, there you go finally this is the strobe function on high mode this is the zoomed out version and there you go the tight spot zoomed in this is the strobe you have to half click it three times for the flashy thing you just need to half click it two times sorry there two times for the flash it's not SOS it's just a slow flash and for the quick flash again three times there you go <laughs> all right so again this is the XTAR WK007 on high mode once again and slowly going to okay that's fully zoomed all right so that's pre pretty much it for the beam shots see you guys in a bit hi guys so i hope you enjoyed watching the review video for this xstar wk07 zoomy flashlight if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to our channel um, also, I would like to invite you to join our Facebook groups. It's called Tarsus International, Flashlight Fans, and also we are Flashaholics. Uh, it's a very awesome, dynamic group of individuals who share the, the same enthusiasm as you and I when, um, with regards to flashlights and some EDC items. Uh, please also check out XSTAR's Facebook page. I will leave the description down below on the link. Always remember, two is one, one is none. Light on, brothers.